So the real news that everybody cares about, the Linkin Park fandom. This is, of course, the motivating factor for my choice of intro song uh, this this episode. Here's the issue. So this guy, um, Chester Bennington, died in 2017, and he has been replaced. And I think that this is the lead singer. So this is the lead singer of Linkin Park. So if you think that crawling in my crawl... It's now going to be a lady, Emily Armstrong, and she's going to have to sing that song with a lady voice. I don't think it's going to work the same. So that's in and of itself weird to replace a male lead singer with a female lead singer. It would be kind of like, I don't know, replacing... I mean, doing the opposite is also kind of weird. Um, But whatever. That's not that's irrelevant. Uh, everybody who is against this has, of course, been called misogynist, even though this is like an emo band from the 2000s and nobody should give a fuck anymore. But the real issue is that uh, Emily Armstrong is a Scientologist, and she came out in support of a guy called Danny Masterson, who was also a Scientologist. Um, he was eventually convicted of raping several girls, um, and Scientology went after his victims because the church does not want bad publicity for their uh, high-ranking members. Emily Armstrong wrote um, in support. I think she showed up at trial, but I think they also usually write the judge for the sentencing hearing. We try to ask for the lowest sentencing possible. So that was the main issue. And this is compounded by the fact that Chester Bennington is, I believe, a childhood sexual assault survivor. And um, so having a woman that supported a rapist replace a guy uh, who had difficulties coping with childhood abuse seems in really poor taste. So she decided to handle these uh, controversies in a very diplomatic way. Let's take a listen to what she has to say. No, this is not her message. Oh, he killed himself. Okay, he was caused by trauma from his abuse. Um, and he killed himself. And one of the rape victims of Danny Masterson, Chrissy Carnell Bixler, was the wife of musician Cedric Bixler Zavala, who was friends with Chester Bennington. He, he and his wife have spoke out about how d- disgusted they are by Linkin Park's decision. So... She has replaced a guy who killed himself because of childhood sexual abuse. And one of his victims was friends or his wife or no. Is the wife of a guy that was personal friends with the guy who killed himself. I got you. So they wrote out the people who were friends with, um, Chester Bennington have written out and against Emily saying, Dear Emily, if you are not going to speak out against the human and child trafficking cult in which you are a part of and in which you are enabling by remain, remaining silent on the crimes you know about, then you have no right to fill the shoes of Chester Bennington, a true advocate. I do not give a fuck that you are very close to a serial rapist. I don't give a fuck that you lied in your apology Instagram story. I do care that you participated after being asked, in the cruel intimidation of Jane Doe 1 with your cult pals at court. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. Apparently when all the Scientologists showed up at court, they like menaced the victims to try and stop them from testifying. Um, I do care that you didn't mention once that you are a member of a child and human trafficking cult that covers up abuses and rapes of children and adults. I do care that your parents work for OSA, the Office of Special Affairs for the Cult of Scientology which have been ordering attacks on me and my family, which includes murdering my dogs in the most inhumane and evil ways. I do care that you have been attacking and harassing my fellow sister survivors. You don't speak out against Scientology, not because you're terrified of them. You don't speak out because you are one of them. Shame on Lincoln Park, and fuck you. That's well spoken. Right to the point. Um, And this was her statement that I believe that they're referring to. She says, Hi, I'm Emily. I'm new to so many of you, and I wanted to clear the air about something that happened a while back. Several years ago, I was asked to support somebody I considered a friend at court appearance and went on to one early hearing as an observer. Soon after, I realized I shouldn't have. 
I always try to see the good in people, and I misjudged him. I have never spoken with him since. Unimaginable details emerged, and he was later found guilty. They say this as clear as possible. I don't condone abuse or violence against women, and I empathize with victims of these crimes. Um, the backlash to this, which of course has been grossly maligned as a misogynist thing, like all things are, has resulted in unimaginable suffering and losses. The volunteer jannies running the Lincoln Park subreddit have resigned due to the emotional burden that they have been unjustly laden with in trying to sweep up the mass outcry against this woman joining as the lead singer. The Jannies were suffering. They were not being compensated. Their wages were not increased at all in the light of this outrage, and they were expected to do the needful day in and day out against the mob that had encircled them. And so the Jannies have fallen. They have quit. They have left. This is Lincoln Playground. This is a sticky comment. He says, I am also leaving. This community turned toxic so fucking fast. I want to enjoy my favorite band returning without the mob commanding me to be angry. I've never seen this t sub turn so vile. I'm getting so many hate messages for censorship when I am just trying to keep things civil. I can't do this anymore. This community used to be so much fun. I enjoyed moderating for the past eight years, but this is where it ends for me. I added several new moderators who are doing a great job. Please treat them with kindness. This wasn't an easy decision, but this is what's best for mementos. Make Chester proud. So that's his final message. Um, they've also frozen posting for 100 hours as a, as a stopgap, as a bulwark against the hate, against the mob. If we can just get a hundred hours of no shit posting, no sweeping it up, then maybe they'll get bored. Maybe they'll be okay with the sudden change of lead singer. Uh, who knows? We'll see. Um. Oh, there's a thread for for this, by the way. Music, the music board. That's a very, that's a rare sight on the Mad at the Internet podcast, our little music board. Here's a fun fact about the music board for those of you who are uh, trivia, Kiwi Farms trivia aficionados. Um, this board, I've been asked about this actually. Am I a Grateful Dead fan? <laughs> and the reason that um, I've been asked this is because the music board says, as its description, Talk about the Grateful Dead or non-Grateful Dead music, which of course would be all music, but with specific emphasis on Grateful Dead. Um, this is the only board description on the Kiwi Farms that has never changed in the time that I've run it. I've kept this description from when Champtham wrote it and the original 2012 era of the Quickie Forums, and I've just never had a reason to change it because I feel it's it's what it, it's, it is what it is. Um, Everything else, literally everything else has been changed in some way except for that. I have never touched that. So uh, that is that is um, that description for this board is literally older than my tenure as admin on the site. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.